So uh, on um, TikTok, I have been watching Los Boys. Um, at first, I didn't know who they were until the recent controversy that um, has been going viral. Like on TikTok, apparently they were being fake. And I went to go look for it on the YouTube video because I was like, I want to know what's up with all the drama. You know, me being a young girl, liking the cheese And I think it, it could also be that like I watch a lot of like um, these fools, like the their YouTube channel. I just like to watch it just for fun. I know like I'm a I'm a Christian and there's things that they do that I'm not OK with um, that. I don't like that's not the lifestyle that I agree with living. Living. it's kind of funny because i actually used to know the cameraman of these fools um they live in the san fernando valley so that's where i'm from as well and i knew the cameraman he actually used to be the christian club president when i was in high school and i just think it's interesting like just the shift the change and i don't know where he's at with his personal life but that's just like a small recap of like you know the backstory of why i'm making this video about those boys but they're kind of like a new um, group, a new men's Latino group of like involved of like famous TikToks, uh, TikTokers and like influencers. Um, I don't watch any of them, to be honest. I've heard of them a little bit and I probably and I've seen them on TikTok, but I don't really watch them. So there's some things I'm I am ignorant to, but I decided to watch like the YouTube video and what really stood out to me is that I feel like a lot of times as a believer, I always look at videos in the perspective and in the view of what God would say about it and what Jesus would say about it and how it could apply. And I feel like um, as I was watching the video of those boys, I did see, you know, that guy with the glasses and his name, I believe, is Kevin. I could tell that he has like a loss of identity and he finds his identity a lot in what people say of him. Um, and that's why he is very quiet. He's scared of speaking his mind. And um, I, he needs Jesus. And then I saw this guy from like the right. His name is Jaco, which I recently found out about. I didn't know who he was. But I saw that he had like a Jesus shirt um, that was talking about like Jesus is love. And it, it was interesting to me because he was kind of like the main guy picking at everybody. And I guess he's probably like one of the most famous ones. Um, and as I was like, looking into him, I saw that he was a Christian and that he actually was married to this girl. Um, he's married. And um, these comments were like talking about... Um so a lot of people were saying petition for Jaco to leave, which is the Christian guy. Um, the one who's married needs to be kicked out. Like, bruh, go spend time with your little wife. Jaco is married and literally cut them off for like half a year. Bro needs to humble himself because if I was him, I'd stay quiet. Um, all right, since y'all trying to drag each other, let's drag y'all. Starting with Jaco. Bro left the group because God told him to. He literally said he outgrew y'all, but once he realized the married couple vlogs or videos would bore us to death, he ran back to y'all. Jaco will throw stones and hide in his hand hide his hand behind his back. And then it continues to criticize other people. But I mostly would just want to focus on Jacob because he's a, he claims to be a Christian and claims to be a believer. If it wasn't for that, I would never even talk about this kind of drama. But I just found it interesting because um, I was going through like their TikToks, um, him and his wife and his wife. Um, I'm going to post, I'm going to react to video and I'm going to not to put the music on. But this is his wife. So she's just doing her dance. I mean, that's normal TikTok girl stuff. Okay, and then there's this one. So I think that she's talking about um, the fact that so many people have mentioned her into reaction of this video um, with those boys because there was a lot of controversy because they were kicking out a member of the group. So people got really angry at them um, and they were saying like, how dare you guys? You guys are like a fake friend group. You guys are messed up comparing them also to these fools. And that's how I first found out about them was because there was like a picture that I'll put right here, like a, a TikTok trend where it's like these like those boys will never um, connect to these fools like. Like they'll never compete because these fools have more of an authentic friendship i guess um but the reason that's how i started watching it but 
what stood out to me is that these two, Jaco and I think her name is Valentina, they say they're Christian, but they look a lot like the world. You know, you can't even tell the fact that they're Christian besides the fact that they have it in their bios. And I feel like you should always be able to tell some that someone is different from you and someone is set apart by the way that they live their lives, the way that they um, they act, you know. And I feel like when I was watching her, I was actually surprised that she was a Christian because of the kind of videos that she was posting, you know, showing her body, showing like her, her, her um, boobs. Um, and, you know, if she's a regular person who is not claiming to follow God, fine, do that. You know, that's what every girl does nowadays. But I know that Jesus wants us to be modest because when we are posting ourselves half naked, this is basically um, a form of porno pornography, just being half naked, showing your boobs. God does not please with that because that triggers lust in us in the person making the content because you're seeing yourself as, as an object and as that's the way people get clicks is by showing their bodies and you're seeing yourself as an object which also triggers lust in you and triggers lust in other people and it also just makes women feel like oh this is what we have to look like to be beautiful it um it puts us down, makes us feel insecure. So there's a lot of traits to it. And I used to be someone like, I am not out here trying to like cr um, hate on her. Um, I'm sure she looks like a really sweet person, to be honest. I feel like we could be friends. But I think that I see so many people, women especially, who claim to be Christian, but on their Instagrams, they're posting themselves half naked. They're here in bikinis. And I don't, I believe that, I know that God calls us to be set apart from the world. And to be set apart is to not be like the world and not be posting bikini pictures and be modest yes we can post cute pictures but be modest cover up cover your goodies up because we don't want other people besides our husbands seeing that and if that's what you put out to the world that's what you're going to get back so this is a bad example of for as a christian woman that and it's it's crazy because she's really famous um on tiktok you know she has like a a good like i think five thousand followers i'm not too sure whereas jaco i think he has over like a million he's like a dancer he went viral for dancing and this is actually some of his TikToks that he's been uploading lately. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. I feel God calling me to wake up for the last couple of weeks. My relationship with God has been going downhill. And the reason why is because I haven't been spending any time with him. The reason why I haven't been spending any time with him is because I've been so caught up on the things of this world. Of I've been so caught up with my goals, my career, uh, scrolling on YouTube, scrolling on TikTok. Just all these things that just mm. pull my time away from what I should be doing, which is spending quality time with God. And so I've come to a point where I'm like, man, this needs to stop. I need to do something about it. Last night, I could not sleep. I kid you not. At around 3 p.m., I locked myself in the restroom. I started praying and I felt led to make a commitment to God to consume only Christian content for the next seven days in an attempt to re reignite that fire that I once had, that desire to, you know, serve him and, and be available to him. So for the next seven days, that's what I'm going to be doing. If anybody else feels called to wake up, join me. Let's do it together. I'm going to be, you know, documenting the whole process and seeing what God does through me. Uh, I love you guys. Let's wake up, man. We need to wake up. There's nothing wrong with having goals and doing all these other things. But if it's pulling you away from God, if it's stealing from your time with God, that's when we have a problem. Let's lock in with God, man. Let's do it. Let's wake up. So what he's posting is good, and I'm glad because there's a lot of people who are secular who follow him, and that's great. I think it's great to have people who don't believe in Jesus that follow you. But I think one thing that is that i have a problem with is in this video is this is his hat jesus on the weekdays what about the weekends because weekends we think that that's the time that we can be ratchet we can go out there and be partying and be living a sinful lifestyle but on the weekdays you know we go back to god but that's not okay we have to follow jesus 24 7 every single day of our lives yeah we're going to fail but we should not be purposely looking for sin so obviously sin is going to come because we're human it's in our nature but we should not be looking for it so that's the first problem that i have with his hat and i'm pretty sure he didn't mean it like that but that's a lot what i get from it. and i'm sure that many other people could get from could, people who don't know god can probably perceive the same thing and be like oh well i'll just follow jesus on the weekdays and the weekends i'll go party and drink and be crazy and um 
it's interesting because the comments you know a lot of times when you need to be corrected people will correct you the world will discipline you and tell you the truth so in the comments people were saying those boys which is the group that he's in is holding you back it goes downhill because the circle you surround yourself with and then people are like okay but also the people you surround yourself with and then how are you like this here but then a whole different person with los boys i think that your surroundings have a lot to do with your following in christ exactly the people how the bible speaks a lot about how can one how can two people go to this in the same um direction when they have different values people they you, they can't you can't serve two masters and jaco clearly is serving to masters yeah there's nothing wrong with having ambitions and having goals for yourself but those goals have to be centered around christ you're li like god is you can't put god in a category of religion you just can't you can't put god in the in just one day out of the week which is sunday morning usually god wants to be a part of every single area of your life especially your finances and your career and especially your goals for me i even gave god my the area of food like i don't allow myself to eat unless i know that god um told me to eat that where it's healthy because a lot of times even gluttony can be a stronghold that we have so people like jaco and valentina you know i know that they're trying to follow jesus and I, at the end of the day god knows their hearts i don't know their hearts but from what i've seen the fruits it seems like they're very lukewarm it seems like they're in and out and this is what many sadly many um christian celebrities or tiktokers are like you know they post god and say god is, has my back he loves me but then they have another video of themselves smoking weed and thinking that god is not convicting them for that and that's why so many christians are lacking and the devil he loves that he loves christians who go and read their bibles or go to church or post a verse on their story but then they're out here smoking weed at night they're out here with partying and having sex on the weekends with their friends he loves that we're doing that he he what he doesn't want is us to fully give our whole lives and surrender every single aspect even the most ridiculous of things like food where most people think it's ridiculous even the most like silly things he wants he that's when the devil gets dreaded when he's like oh oh wow they're really changing up they're really making people be better because the devil loves sin and he wants us to continue to be in sin and unfortunately people like jaco and valentina which is what most young people see as the christian example of a woman and a man um that they're 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 failing when it comes to this because they're out here posting immodest pictures wanting going to groups and hanging out with boys who aren't trying to aren't making you better aren't trying to be man of god and yes it's going to affect you i had to leave a lot of my friends who didn't want to follow jesus because i want to follow jesus there was that sacrifice to pay where maybe i can't be making content that will make me more money maybe i can't you know i can't make an only fans i can't be out here being provocative because i could be if i want to but i'm not because i want to follow christ to the fullest and there's certain things that i can't do and that's just how it is like it's too bad like we love to be sugar-coated christians we love to sugarcoat the bible but there are some things that you just can't do if you're gonna follow christ you can't you can't be out here um posting um thirst traps you know you can't be out here hanging out with a group of boys who smoke and drink and have sex and are not living the lifestyle that you want to live like and yes you can guide people to jesus but jesus he he hung with sinners but he did not act like the sinners he told them to repent and follow and believe the gospel and he did not partake in their sinful activities and in their nature so there's also um just controversy also in their marriage that i wanted to um talk about which i think a lot of Christ a lot of christian influencers do you know influencers who are christian she said you're taking too long and you said you weren't i knew it i'm sad you didn't even bother to include me to go with you guys we're done jaco i don't want to do this anymore for real i'm tired of it all yeah. he said i'm happy i'm single now i for real almost married you lol <laughs> and i'm happy i'm finally out of this relationship Really, bro? Oh, wait, she said. And I'm even happier you hadn't proposed yet because I would have looked like the biggest clown. I'm gonna be like, really, bro? You really gonna say this? Wow, that's a bet. I mean, 
it was about you, but you were saying a bunch of like messed up things. I don't care. I mean it. Ow! What? There's nothing out there. What are you looking at? It's a window. Everybody looks at a window. Said anything Jacob, that I did. Go out with your boys and go keep drinking. Don't involve me in your life anymore. Do you I, I don't want. Drinking? I don't want you in my life anymore. Hmm. Literally, that's Why it. Why would I go out? I never go out. Jacob, do whatever the hell you want. Literally, whatever you want. I don't care anymore. I just know, I'm done. I just want to know, like, where is this coming from? Like, what, what made you want to be this angry? Like, what did I do? Jacob, we're done. That's it. We're done. I don't mean that. So, I'm not going to talk much about this video because I don't know the context. It could be, they, I know they have a lot of, like, prank videos, I think. I don't know, I don't watch this couple channel, or I don't, I don't really watch them, but um, the, the, it, the TikTok, it says, um, you can't tell me this man changed because of God. Um, so, you can tell that, you know, his group, his friend group definitely influences him to be a worldly guy and that affects their relationship and you know every relationship has its issues even christian relationships they all have their issues but this is what makes christians and god look so bad because a lot of us don't take the christian faith serious we think oh god will forgive us it's fine god's gonna forgive us but we don't realize how many times jesus said to repent how many times people said you have to, Jesus said you have to take up your cross? How many times that Jesus said no to sin and rebuked sin? And yes, there is forgiveness, but ultimately you think God doesn't know your heart? You think God doesn't see that he, you're taking advantage of his grace? And there will be a penalty for that. The Bible says that God will judge every good and bad deed. Every little thing you said, he will judge. And we have to take that way more serious. We take God as a joke. And that's this is exactly a perfect example of a christian boy you know that is claiming to know christ but is acting completely different and that's the result of his friend group and um a lot of people are also saying um and you know everyone everyone has their own opinion i know i've been brought down in the comments two people have misinterpreted me on the comments um i've been canceled on tiktok so i don't know but it's saying bro valentina has been such a manipulative person from the start and definitely use religion for her benefit this is why i say valentina use religion for her benefit even though he follows it it's giving manipulation so i don't know what's going on um i don't know the background story and i don't think it's irrelevant but um i just want to talk about the religion for your benefit a lot of people do use religion for their benefit. They um, they go to church on Sundays, you know, to be good with God. But they don't really they they want to really more be forgiven for their sin, but they don't want that relationship with God. They just want to be forgiven for their sin. They only want God for what God can give him give them, but they don't want God for who He actually is. And when you really want a relationship with God, when you really want God for who He is, you're gonna invite that suffering. There's gonna be hardships. You're gonna have to let go of your worldly nature, and it's gonna be hard. But that's genuinely loving God and genuinely wanting God, and not just using God to forgive you for your sin. And I see that in a lot of Christians where we that's all we want. We just want forgiveness for our sin, but we want to continue doing our sin. And we don't realize that our sin literally leads us to death and steals from our lives. Um, I used to struggle with the sin of lust and gluttony. And it hurt me so much that I, I decided, I, even though I love the sin and it gave me pleasure in the moment, that I was done with it because my relationship with God was being affected. And I don't want to be here you know acting like i'm judging these people but the bible you know the bible does call us to judge others righteously and to do it because we love them you know and i feel like for a lot of people who are seeing valentina and um jaco 
when you if, when you are a Christian and you do follow these people, tell them in the comments. I'm sure they read it. Tell them, hey, you know, I know that you have a. I know that from what I see, it looks like you're trying and you want to follow Christ, but posting those you yourself half naked with your bra showing in your bra it's making you look like the world and the bible says stop judging by mere appearances but instead judge correctly so i'm not gonna judge her and say that she's a jezebel and she's a, a hoe or any of these things i'm she's not those things you know she's a married woman she seems like she really wants to follow god from the things she posts um but there are certain things where she could misguide people by the way she dresses. She, We are called to be set apart. We are called to be different from the world. And dressing provocative is not being set apart. It's not being different from the world. It's being like everybody else. And also for Jaco where he's in this friend group that clearly compromises his faith. And they're influencing him more than he influences them. And I don't think that he has the strength right now to influence them to follow God. I think that he's still weak. There's still parts of him where you can tell he wants the money. He wants the fame and the status. But he also wants Jesus. And, and I see that from the videos that he's making. But he has to ultimately make a decision. And this is another verse about the Bible talking about judging others. It says, Do not judge or you too will be judged. From the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye, you hypocrite? First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. So, I want to say this because I... It, that. I don't want to um, come off like I'm judging them, but uh, um, I'm judging them in a righteous way where um, it's like I'm not I'm not a hypocrite because I'm not out here posting myself, you know, half naked. And that's not, I'm not saying I'm better than them. The Bible says to never think that you're better than anybody else. Always see others as better than yourself. I'm really not. Um but for the people who are going to come in the comments and tell me, hey, you're judging her, like you're judging him. The Bible doesn't say never to judge. It says to first cl clear the speck out of your own eye, to clear your sin and make sure your your walk with God is good. And then you, you start talking to others. And then you start telling others, hey, you can't live like this. It's like me... Like it, the what the Bible's talking about when you you're not supposed to judge. It's like me posting myself having an OnlyFans and then saying judging other women who have OnlyFans for being like that when I'm doing the same thing. But I am not. I, I am li doing my best to live a righteous life. So it's okay. It's okay to judge, but we have to make sure that we are doing it with a conscience where we know we're right with God and we're doing the right thing and always doing it with love and gentleness. The Bible says that if you don't do anything with love, then it, it, it doesn't matter. Love is the most important and I'm doing this out of love. I don't want them to continue with this in their lifestyle. I don't want them to continue, um, with the, with friends who don't inspire them to put to bring them closer to God and I think that their marriage you know they're they're really young I think they're my age they're like 24 um they're really young and their marriage you know it will suffer because of this and it ultimately if they don't really put God at the center of their marriage then it's going to fall it's going to fall apart or it's not going to be a qu the quality of marriage that God wants them to have you can see with the fights that they have you can see that you know the controversy that he's in now and that puts her down as well um that video that she was saying about how she has so many mentions because of what happened with Jacob and the whole controversy and people are hating on him you know so we are called to judge but we have to make sure that we clear the speck out of our own eye and then we can tell our brothers and sisters hey that's not okay and do it out of always do it out of love not ever do it out of hate or criticize someone because sometimes we just do that to put other people down and that's not okay you know that's coming from a wrong um a wrong heart but yeah, um, I really pray for these for this young couple. Um, I love that they follow the Lord, but there's definitely places where you know they can it can be different. I, I think right now they're in a lukewarm phase, but I know that um, um, that God always prevails, and we should always put God first. We should always seek Him and not look to other influencers, but seek God. He is the ultimate influence. Yes, we can learn a lot from ish influencers, but ultimately, the Word of God, our Bibles, and prayer is where you grow 
firmly with Jesus and it's always going to be that way it's never going to change so yeah let me know what you guys think about this whole drama let me know what you guys think about just um the commentary behind all of this and about judging others um but yeah let me know you guys your thoughts and I'm out